Greetings, minions! Okay, show of hands, who forgot to turn on the microphone the last time they filmed this vlog? Just me? Yeah, I kind of figured. I'm here today to talk to you about something you guys ask about all the time. It's been seven years and you guys are still asking me about it, so I figured now is about time to tell you what happened to Legacy of Trill, Soul Broken, which is the second book in Legacy of Trill, and uh, I got some stuff to share. I receive emails all the time, like every week, all the time, forever. And it's awesome, and I love hearing it, even though there's this pang of guilt because I'm like, oh no, I'm sorry, you've been suffering for seven years, minions. So this is from a minion named Ellie Wood. So Ellie, if you're watching this, I really hope you're cool with me sharing your email because I'm doing it. <laughs> Dear Z Brewer, it's been over six years since I first read Legacy of Trail Soulbound. Even though I've read it more times than I can count, it still remains my favorite book. It got me through high school, put a smile on my face when that was the last thing I thought my face was capable of doing. This book made me realize how powerful literature really is. My friends and I waited patiently for the sequel. I was there when you announced it would no longer be released. Again, I was there when it was announced that Harper Teen agreed to release it as an ebook. Then it never came. Over the next months and years, I would periodically check in to hear news. Was it released and I just haven't heard? Perhaps there's been something said. Surely they would have given us some answers by now, but no such luck. I had given up. Still, just yesterday, I thought of this book and craved the adventures, the characters, the relationships. So I bought it. I couldn't find it in my library and consumed it like I did when I was in high school. Now I have more questions for the story and for you than I ever did before. But one in particular I have for you, Z. Will the fans of both you and the Legacy of Trill book ever get answers? If the cover art was released, surely that means the book is written and ready. It would be an incredible surprise for your minions if it were to be released, even after all this time. I know it would make my year at least. So I ask you, if there is any chance that this book could be released, even a tiny chance, would you fight for it? Because I would. So would many others. I believe that. So thank you, Ellie, for your email and for all minions that have written to me about anything, but, but in this particular instance, all of you that have written to me about Soulbound and Soulbroken, because feeling that love really, it means a lot. If you, if you are unable to, to afford books and to like pre-order them and buy them, get them at your local library and read them and love them. And when you do, reach out to the authors. Understand if they don't have time to respond to you, but reach out to them and tell them how much the book meant to you. because. That is why we do this. Back to Soulbound and Soulbroken. I'm going to regale you a tale. And I, I think it's a long tale, but I don't think it'll take that long to tell it. We'll see. Once upon a time, when yours truly was working with Penguin Teen, who published the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd series, and the Slayer Chronicles, and of course, Legacy of Troll Soulbound. When I was working with them, uh, a lot of stuff was going on. Vlad was doing really well and I was just starting to write the Slayer Chronicles series and I had actually sold to them three books in the Legacy of Trill. And Legacy of Trill was actually going to be a trilogy. I know, so lame. But it was. It was going to be a trilogy. And I was really super excited about it and the first book of course was going to be called Soulbound. So I wrote it and Something about high fantasy books, they're really, really difficult to write. It takes a lot of work and just the right everything to make it work. And I'd never written anything like that before. I'd only really focused in worlds that I'd created here in our reality. But this time I was creating a whole nother world with a whole nother set of rules. And there's just, there's a lot. If you've watched uh, my video talking about world building, there's a lot of questions you have to ask yourself about currency, about weather, about all of the creatures that are there, about the food, so many things. And so writing Soulbound really taught me a lot about myself as a writer. And it was difficult, but I feel like I pulled it off. And I love that book. I'm going to tell you something really silly about it. It's such, it's such a stereotype, and this does not happen to me. But it all started because I had a dream. I know, how obnoxious is that? Ugh, so many people say, I wrote it because I had a dream and that's cool and all, but I don't do that, but I did. And it ended up being amazing. The dream was actually about vampires though, so I'm not sure that really qualifies. But anyway, I wrote Soul Bond. Then something happened. This is a business first and foremost. I mean, I am an artist and if you are a writer, of course you are an artist, but from the business side of things, if something isn't working, things get canceled, such as the contracts I had for the last two books 
in the legacy of Trill. See, this is a business. And even though I'm an artist and any writer is an artist, we sometimes forget what a business it really is. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Hmm. Good to hear. So, uh, you enjoying the vlog? Cool, 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 cool. What do you think of past me? Yeah. No, no. No, no, I totally agree. The hair, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they'll work on that. Me, um... I'm not caring so much for past me at the moment. You see, past me filmed this vlog twice. And then last night when past me was editing the vlog the second time, past me noticed that halfway through filming the vlog, apparently everything went black. So I filmed another like five, six, seven, ten, a million minutes of nothing. And now present me has to do with the crap the past me did so I'm not exactly happy with past me but I am happy with you and I am happy to continue our conversation so rant over one eternity later the contracts were canceled and it sucked it did it sucked big time and it actually had a huge effect on my self-esteem it had a huge effect on my mental health this is nothing to do with penguin teen they have been nothing but amazing to me and it's just business like I said so Please don't hold any of this against them. It just, it happens. And it happens all the time to all sorts of authors. But for me, it was kind of a perfect storm situation. You see, at the time, I was not diagnosed with any of my mental health issues. And at the time, I was unmedicated for all of those issues. And at the time, I had not been going to therapy at all for any of those issues. Add into that something, you know, pretty traumatic, like having multiple contracts canceled. And it was really this perfect storm for all sorts of awful things in my life. Because of what I was going through personally, I ended up going through about a six-year mental breakdown. Which sucks. I mean, you know, I can, I can very lightly say that it sucks right now, but it was really pretty terrible. Again, not Penguin's fault. Just a thing that happened. Nobody's fault. Just happened. And it sucked so bad. But it's life. You get up, you brush yourself off, and you move forward. And I did move forward. I move forward with Harper Teen, and they have been amazing to me. They're still amazing to me to this day, and they've really taken very good care of me. They published The Cemetery Boys, The Blood Between Us, and Madness, and a short story of mine called The Ghost of Ben Hargrove that I'm really, really proud of. It's a horror short story, so you should probably look that up sometime. After a talk with my agent, my agent went and spoke with Harper and said, hey, you know what? There's this thing. It's called Soul Broken. Would you guys be interested in publishing it and taking it over from Penguin? And it was very unlikely they were going to say yes because it just doesn't happen in this industry. Most publishers won't take over an orphaned project. And that's just business, like I said. So Harper said no. No big deal. It's not Harper's fault. They were like, hey man, just not our thing. It's cool. And I was like, cool, bro. Actually, that is not how the conversation happened at all. But let's roll with it. So they said they wouldn't publish Soul Broken. <sighs> this is the vlog from hell. It's the vlog from hell. It has taken me seven years to get to the point where I can tell you about what happened with Trill. And it's taking me that long to film this vlog because it happened again. <laughs> the camera cut out. I didn't know, and I go to edit it, and half of it's not there. So here we are again, filming, again. And then I filmed it, and I was done, and then I realized I forgot to turn the mic on. So there was no sound. So here we're doing it, again. I'm so happy about it. So my agent went back to them and said, you know something, Z's thinking about self pubbing this. And Harper said, whoa, 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 did we say no? By no, we meant totally yes. We will publish it as an ebook, as a favor. And I thought, that's so cool. Yes, I'm on board. I signed the paperwork. Everything was cool. We were good to go. Soul Broken was going to be a thing in the world. And I told all you guys, and I was super stoked. But then time went by as, you know, you know how time works. Yeah, it went by. And then before I knew it, like five years or something went by and it was like crazy because I wasn't hearing anything about Soul Broken and I didn't know what was going on. And you know, once again, business, it happens. 
Harper had other priorities. This was really a favor they were doing for me, for you, for us. And th that favor didn't pan out. So recently I signed the paperwork reverting the rights from Harper back to me. So Harper will not be publishing Soul Broken. Fortunately for you, Pibbling Z will. This August, I will be publishing Soul Broken as an ebook because my minions deserve the ending. You deserve to know what happened to these characters. And so I'm going to make it happen. I don't have an exact date yet. I know it will be August. I do have a cover that I'm not releasing just yet. I don't have pre-order links, but as soon as I have them, come here. Any news that you want for Soul Broken, please come to my blog, ask me questions, and watch it because I'll be saying stuff as time goes on. But I had to do it, Minions. I had to do it for you. And the truth is, I should have done it a lot sooner. And for that, I am very sorry. But it's going to happen now. And I can't wait for you guys to find out what happens with Kaya and Darius and Trayton. I can't wait for you guys to revisit Trill and Grapplers and see what's going on. I'm really super, super excited. And I hope that you guys are excited too. Now, I have one more thing before I turn this off and edit it again. And that one thing is this. I just noticed that we passed 600 subscribers and I am so, so stoked. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And please don't forget to click that thing and do the other thing with the bell and the stuff and then something and do the thing that YouTube does. Yeah, I said it. What? No, it's, it's, I'm not like that. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Please just subscribe and like and ring a bell. My bell would be good. Just ring my, no, don't ring my bell. That's like hitting me. Don't hit me. Just ring the thing. The little bell. Just do that with the thing and then the ringing. And the, what the kids are saying these days, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one of the kids. I am so one of the kids. So, I think next time I film a vlog, which honestly, if this one had panned out the way it was supposed to, you could have had like three or four vlogs by now. But I'm not bitter. Everything's fine here. How are you? Next time I film a vlog, I will be giving something away to celebrate passing 600 subscribers. And I think that's something we're going to do on the regular. Every time we pass another 100 subscribers, I'm going to give something else away. Because I am just so, so stoked that you guys are following me and, and listening to me and, and doing my bidding. Somebody get over here and edit this thing. Nah, it's fine. It's cool. I got it. Maybe I got it. I don't know if I have it! Okay. Anywho, that's all for me, minions. Be good. Be safe. Remember... Pipling Z loves you.